up to in terms of the amount of time that you want to spend exercising. Two hours is terrific. Eight to 12 minutes. Eight to 12 minutes is regarded as being minimally very, very helpful. If you're able to, John Brady, he says, eight to 12 minutes of middle, mid to high level intensity exercise starts the process moving. So if you're not doing any exercise, or if you're letting days come and go, because every day also makes a difference. I mean, find the balance that works for you. You don't have to do it every day. It's not like you're gonna, exercising is the key. However you're doing it and bringing it to your life, that's what's important. It's when you know that you would like to be doing more. Not because I need to do more, but because you know, I, would, I just, like, like you last year probably were like, I should do exercise, I need to do more, but you, and now you're moving into that place. Maybe it's not, things aren't as hectic as they were before. Maybe you tasted a little bit of along the way. Whatever it was, um, that you, you just know. We want to move to that place where we sort of know what we want to do. Can we do what we want to do? Not more, not less. And so in that regard, let me suggest to you, we tend to jump from these, you know, I'm going to do this. And we just jump to this extreme. I'm going to leave here, and then I'm going to make sure that I'm going to, he did two hours, I'm going to do two and a half hours. I'm going to make sure, whatever it is, and we jump from one extreme to another extreme. Don't do that. Because that's just bouncing. If you jumped over here, I suspect you're going to end up bouncing back over here. Just take a step in that direction. Whatever you're doing, and whatever you wish you were doing a little bit more, begin to do a little bit more of it. So, 8 to 12 minutes, John Rady says, for anybody, could be very, very helpful, mid to high level intensity. So, the more you run, the faster you run, the faster that you're doing what you're doing, especially for the shorter burst of time, the more you have this opportunity to move into the glucose burning stage, the more you have this opportunity for the brain to go, uh-oh, we need to do something to sort of boost up our capacity to bring oxygen to our brain, and that's helpful. It also creates the opportunity for you to have where afterwards you're in a more alert state, with more glucose going around afterward to then, not during, but afterward, to then be able to take advantage of the learning. A lot of research shows that the standard is this. 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes, two to three times a week. So at a minimum, not that eight to 12 minutes isn't a minimum, but as a standard, if you can do 30 minutes, at least two to three times a week, that's also regarded as being, again, mid to high level intensity. Low level intensity, because you're getting some interesting material read, you're boosting up the, the, the oxygen in your brain, very helpful. It's not gonna necessarily bring about the more robust changes that could take place with the brain direct neurotrophic factor, you know, all that sort of stuff, some perhaps, but very, very helpful to take advantage of that time. Yes? The 30 minutes, two or three times a week, is that like 150 percent of your normal heart rate. No, I think well, your normal heart rate. Right. It's it's, it's sort of like 65 percent, 60 to 70 percent of your maximum heart rate. So you would take 220 nice. minus your age, and that's and this doesn't work for me. So I've never fully appreciated because mine's higher. But um, 220 minus 220 minus your age, mm -hmm. and that's considered your maximum heart rate. Then you want to do between 60 to 70 percent of that and sustain that for the duration. To add sprints, like probably when you're swimming, there are times when you probably pump, that's very helpful to maintain that endurance and then to break out. And the same thing when you're jogging, whatever you're doing. To have those moments where for 30 seconds, you bump it up to the next level and then bring it back down. That's extremely helpful to do. So the most important thing I would say is on as regular a basis as you can, even if it's eight to 12 minutes, do it before you get to the library. Do it before, if you get home and you're going to start studying. If there was no benefit to the brain, it would be helpful just for well-being and relaxation and toning down some of the anxiety to do that exercise before you, this is right in the day when I was in law school. I woke up and I was listening to certain music. I went to law school, I came home, I exercised every single day, I jogged every single day. Then I went on and continued studying. I either went back to school or I was home studying. So I, and this was, there was no brain research for this, I just got lucky. And then I would take a nap at like 6 or 30. And I, would, I never took naps in my entire life. But I was so tired. So I want to share this with you because I don't know if I'm going to see you at, during the napping one. I would take a nap every day between like 6.30 and 7.15. And I also didn't have TV. That was probably helpful. Um, between 6.30 and 7.15, I took a nap. Now my whole life, I never napped. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. I just wasn't, but I did it. And it gave me a little bit longer, more alert time after the nap. And we're now learning that you actually, maybe this is what you were suggesting with your question earlier on, we actually have a lot of learning going on when we do nap. 
So if you had a whole day of getting a lot of stuff in your brain, and then you take that moment, half hour, to just, and they say three o'clock is actually ideal time to do it because you're so unproductive all the time anyway, but that might be hard given where you are in law school. But to take that half hour, all of a sudden you can take that knowledge that you've learned and really begin to convert it to long-term memory, especially if you're going to switch subjects to something else. But that's for another day. Coordination. In addition to exercising and then doing something intellectually stimulating. Now I said that's the thing to walk away here from. Exercise and do something intellectually stimulating. Even if it's something that doesn't involve law school, that's okay. <clears throat> Exercise, something intellectually stimulating. If you like doing puzzles, if you're sitting around doing puzzle puzzles does not do a whole lot for the brain, interestingly enough. But if you've exercised and then you do something that becomes, especially if it's not something you're used to doing, something a little unfamiliar, you reap lots of benefits. Balance. Doing things that involve the back of our brain and the underside, the cerebellum, we now know, isn't just a movement, motivation kind of thing. It actually has huge connections to the frontal cortex, which is the executive functioning part of the brain. And the more that we do things that are on balance themes, the more we do rollerblading, the more we do ping pong, an interesting thing in Japan, ping pong playing resulted in a more what they call an integrated brain state after ping pong playing. You've got, you're looking at the spin of the ball, you're, you're moving your eye-hand coordination, there's a whole lot of stuff going on there. Tennis is a great example. If you can play tennis and have it not be where you're standing there, but it's actually an aerobic exercise as much as it can be, as well as a running and making contact. So the one thing that you may not be doing that you may want to try and see how you can figure out how to do it, the wellness center here creates enormous opportunities for this. Norm Parsons and everybody over there, the ones that are phenomenal, and they're really into this sort of stuff also. Exercise, do your cardiovascular. Do your cardiovascular. I wouldn't just say, oh, I do ping pong now. And <laughs> do your cardiovascular, but then do something that involves balance. Do something that involves coordination. Do something that requires some eye hand that you haven't done before, because that seems to jump it up to another level as well. That seems to jump it up to another level as well.